From onigiris to bentos, Japanese convenience stores or konbini are great, but it can seem a bit daunting to talk to the clerk if you don't know any Japanese. Hi, I'm Norman, and in this video I'll show you 27 useful phrases used at Japanese convenience stores so that you can have a smooth shopping experience. I'll explain their meaning in an easy to understand way so that you can remember them more easily. When you enter a Japanese convenience store, the first thing that you will hear the clerk say is irashaimase. This basically means welcome. It is the comment form of irashaimas, which is the honorific way of saying to come. The honorific form of verbs is used to talk about actions that people of higher status perform, the customer in this case. So irashaimase literally means something along the lines of please come in, but super polite. When the clerk says this, you don't have to say anything back, but I usually not while smiling. So you enter the convenience store and begin browsing for items that you want to buy. But what if there's something for which you don't know the price? In this case, you could ask the clerk the following. Sumimasen. Kore wa ikura desu ka? Sumimasen means excuse me. Wa marks kore, which means this, as the topic of the sentence. Ikura means how much. Des is a polite way to say is. And ka is used to ask a formal question. So it literally means excuse me. As for this, how much is it? Or more simply, excuse me, how much is this? The clerk could respond with the following. Kore or kochira wa hyakuen desu. Kochira is a more formal variant of kore. And once again, wa marks this as the topic of the sentence, with the statement about this being hyakuen desu, which means is 100 yen. So this phrase means this is 100 yen. Let's say that you pick up a drink and a bento and head over to the counter. However, there's a small line, so you have to wait for a bit. When it's your turn, the clerk will say, Otsugi no kata dozo, which means next person please. Otsugi no kata is a very polite way of saying next person, and dozo means please, as in when you're giving someone permission to do something. Once you make your way to the counter, the first thing that the clerk will do, of course, is greet you. Depending on the time of day, there are three ways in which the clerk will do this. They are Ohayou gozaimasu, konnichiwa, and konbanwa, which mean good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, respectively. You can just respond back with the appropriate greeting. Then the clerk starts scanning your products. When they scan your bento, they will ask you atatame maska, which means would you like me to heat it up? Be careful though, as the clerk says this about three times as fast as I did. When I just arrived in Japan, this was a phrase that often got me, and I remember having to ask multiple times, excuse me, could you repeat that? Which is also a good phrase to know. To express this, you can simply say mo ichido onegaishimasu. Mo ichido is an expression which means once more, and onegaishimasu is an expression which means please. So it literally means once more please, or more simply, could you repeat that please? Back to the bento. If you want the clerk to warm it up, you can say onegaishimasu, and if not, you can say daijoube desu, which politely means it's fine. Before the bento is heated up, the clerk will say shou shou o machi kudasai, which means please wait just a minute. Shou shou means just a minute, and o machi kudasai, is the honorific way of saying please wait. While you're waiting for your bento, the clerk will finish scanning your other products and then ask you, Reji bukuro wa goryo desu ka? Which means, would you like a bag? Reji bukuro means disposable shopping bag, and goryo desu ka? is a honorific way of asking, will you use? So the expression literally means, will you use a bag? If you want one, you can again respond with onegaishimasu, and if not, with daijoube desu. Of course, these bags also cost something, usually a small 5 yen. So the clerk will tell you, Reji bukuro wa ichimai go en desu, which means a bag is 5 yen, to which you can just respond with hai, which means yes. Then they will ask you, Pointo kado wa omochi desu ka? Which means, do you have a point card? Convenience stores in Japan use a point system in which you can receive points, usually one per 100 or 200 yen spent at the store. These points can then be used for discounts on future purchases. Pointo kado means point card, and omochi desu ka is a honorific way of asking do you hold? So the expression literally means do you hold a point card 
or more simply, do you have a point guard? I assume that most of you going to Japan will probably not have a point guard, so you can just respond with nai des or arimasen, which both mean I don't have one. However, if you do have one, you can say hi and give it to the clerk while saying onegaishimasu. Think of it as if this means please handle the transaction. Once potential points have been subtracted from your point card, the clerk will say o kaike wa xn ni narimasu. O kaike is a very polite way of saying bill, narimasu is a polite way of saying to become, and ni marks what the bill becomes. So the expression literally means the bill becomes x yen, or more simply, the bill is x yen. Then the clerk will ask you how you would like to pay. O shiharai hōhō wa dou nasaimasu ka? O shiharai hōhō is a polite way to say payment method. Do means how, and nasaimasu ka is a honorific way of asking will you do? So it literally means as for payment method, how will you do? Or more simply, how would you like to pay? If you would like to pay by cash, you can say genkin de shiharaimasu. And if you would like to pay by credit card, you can say Kredito kado de shiharaimasu. If you pay with cash, when you hand the clerk the money, you can say onegaishimasu. Then they will say Xen o azukari itashimasu. O azukari itashimasu is the humble way of saying to be entrusted with. The humble form is used when talking about your own actions that have a connection to a person of higher status. So they are literally saying, I am entrusted with X yen. If they have to give you change, they will say, X yen no okaeshi desu. No marks okaeshi, which is a polite way of saying change, as the so-called possession of X yen. So it literally means, it is a change of X yen, or more simply, your change is X yen. Of course, after that they will ask you, Reshito wa yoroshi desu ka? Which literally means, is the receipt good? Or more simply, would you like the receipt? Once again, if you want it, you can respond with onegaishimasu. And if you don't want it, you can respond with daijoubu desu. By now your bento should be warmed up. Or you might have to wait just a little bit longer. Once it's done, the clerk will give it to you and say, Omatase itashimashita. This is the humble causative form of matsu, which means to wait. So it literally means, I made you wait, or more simply, thank you for waiting. Of course you need some utensils to eat with. So the clerk will ask you, o hashi o tsukeshimasu ka? Which literally means, would you like chopsticks? O hashi is a polite way of saying chopsticks, and o tsukeshimasu ka is the humble form of tsukeru, which means, will I attach? So the expression literally means, Will I attach chopsticks to the bento? By now you know what to say, if you want it or if you don't want it. This phrase is often immediately followed by Atsui no de o kiyotsuke kudasai. Atsui means hot, no de means because, and o kiyotsuke kudasai is the honorific way of saying please be careful. So the expression literally means because it's hot, please be careful, or more simply, Please be careful, it's hot. Once all is said and done, the clerk will tell you Arigato gozaimashita, which means thank you. You can just say the same thing back. Here's one bonus phrase. Let's say that you want to try one of Japan's many beers. The minimum age in Japan for buying alcoholic drinks is 20, and clerks will ask you to confirm whether or not you are this age by saying Ne re kakunin botan wo oshite kudasai, which means Please push the age confirmation button. Ne re kakunin botan means age confirmation button. And O marks this as the direct object of oshite kudasai, which means please push. If you are 20 or older, you simply push the high button and you're done. Now of course the conversation will not always go exactly like this, but it's still a good general guideline for how it could go at a Japanese convenience store. I recommend you to practice these sentences so that you really understand them well. So that maybe when the order is reversed a bit, it doesn't matter because you know what the clerk is saying. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you're traveling to Japan soon, I hope that you will have a great trip and that these phrases will be useful to you. Thank you so much to all of my patrons as well for your continued support. It really means a lot to me. For now, I wish all of you a great day and see you in the next video. Bye!